Hello, my name is Blanche White, and I am a salt chlorination activist. For a while now, you've heard me talk about the many benefits of salt chlorination, how it's a more natural approach to chlorinating your pool, how it delivers the most amazing swimming experience, how it leaves your pool water silky soft with no chemical odor, and how it lets you say goodbye to itchy skin, red eyes, and bleached clothing. Well now, thanks to Salt and Swim from Hayward Pool Products, salt chlorination is not only affordable, but it's easy to install too. In this video, I'll show you how to install Salt and Swim in as little as 20 minutes. There's no gluing of pipes required, and Hayward's easy to use installation kit provides virtually everything that you'll need. Make sure that the Salt and Swim cell is installed after all of the equipment on your pool pad and before the water returns to the pool. Turn off the power to your pool's pump. Mount the control box on a post or a flat surface using the included hardware. Use the included mounting template to locate and drill the fastener holes. Screw in the top fasteners, leaving a space of 1 8 of an inch between the screw head and the surface. Hang the control box on the top fasteners. Then, screw in the bottom fasteners securely. Place the cutting template on the pipe at the location where the salt and swim cell will be installed. Mark each of the pre-cut notches on the cutting template. The first, or outermost set of marks are inspection marks that will tell you later whether the cell has been installed properly. And the second, or innermost marks, will tell you where to cut the pipe. Using a saw suitable for cutting PVC pipe, cut the pipe in the two places indicated by the cutting template. These will be the innermost marks on the left and right hand side of the pipe. Make sure to clean any shavings that may be left on the cut pipe. Depending on the diameter of your plumbing pipe, select either the 2 inch or 1 and a half inch nut assembly to secure the cell to the pipe. Place the proper size nut on each side of the cut pipe as shown with the screw threads facing the cut end of the pipe. Then place the compression ring on the pipe, followed by the collar. Make sure you add the nut assembly components to the pipe in this order. Position the compression ring directly over the second marks on the left and right hand sides of the pipe. Install the vessel by fastening the nuts to either side of the vessel where the pipe has been cut away. Hand tighten the nuts for a snug fit. Using the included strap wrench, tighten an additional one quarter turn. If the vessel has been installed correctly, the first or outermost marks you made with the cutting template should not be visible. Place the cell into the vessel. Place the cell cap on the cell. Secure the cap to the vessel with the retaining nut. Hand tighten only. Restore power to your pump. Run the pump for five minutes. Check for leaks and then turn off the pump. Plug the line cord for the control box into an outlet. After being powered on for the first time, Salt and Swim will run a diagnostic routine which can take up to 30 seconds. When the diagnostic routine is finished, Salt and Swim will display a blinking inadequate water flow indicator and a solid standing by indicator. This is perfectly normal. While Salt and Swim is powered, turn the filter pump on, running the pump for at least 20 seconds. Turn the filter pump off and leave off for 10 seconds. Now you can turn on your filter pump and begin normal operation. See? It's so fast and easy to install you'll have plenty of time to soak up the sun. Come on in, kids! The water is fine! Start using your salt and swim today and see what a little bit of salt can do. Hayward Pool Products with Salt Chlorination. Live free, live clean, live clear.